<laughs> really now I see. The other me lost, huh? <laughs> it is is it really that funny? It's so ridiculous. Even after I gave her so much power, she's still lost. Lame. She is so lame. <laughs> oh now my sides hurt. Even if it's a different dimension, you're still mocking yourself, you know. Oh, that weak fool isn't me at all. Besides, those horribly made copies are all that really lost. But if you say that, now you're... Ah, uh, screw it, whatever. How are you feeling now? Did you get stronger again? Hmm, I wonder about that. <laughs> the laughing begins again. What's up with you? Give me a solid answer. <laughs> I just can't stop. It's amazing. So, my, so many amazing things have happened to me. I think I could destroy one or two worlds with no problem now. Oh, are you serious? Badass. Even if I haven't gotten to see an entire world get destroyed. Hey, hurry up. Hurry it up. Show me, okay? Don't rush perfection. I'll show you. But first, let's see. I'll start with the dimension where my weak, useless imposter resides. <laughs> yeah, she's completely lost it. Oh, I'm losing my powers. I'm losing everything again. No, that's not right. I wanted to throw away these powers, but they came back to me anyway. I'm recalling memories of me getting carried away, doing awful things. Things I really did. Uh. Ooh. This lady is still mumbling in her sleep. It could be a nightmare. Mommy's been sleeping for a long time. Pico, I get that you're worried, but flopping down next to her for this long isn't necessary. She's right, dear. Instead of staying close to an unknown woman, come and cling on to me. Julia, you went too far again. Huh? I didn't do it. Was this woman really a CPU? As long as we didn't hallucinate. Uh, goodness, she's sweating a lot. I, I should wipe some off. Ah! Uh, Donk. What? Ouchies! Hey, mommy woke up! Uh, uh, where is this? Yo, lady, what's the big idea headbutting my baby girl's sister as soon as you wake up? It's okay, I, I'm, I'm fine. Uh oh, Gigi, you have a big bump on your face. Mommy, yay, mommy! Oh, uh, uh can, can someone explain any of this? You're in Plantoon's Basilicon. We defeated you, brought you here, and tended to your wounds. Since we, uh, have seen your true form, we simply must ask to hear your tale. True form? You mean that, right? You transformed and turned into a lady who was so weird. I'd argue that she was pretty weird before she transformed. So it wasn't a dream after all. I'm so, so sorry. I'm very sorry that I got carried away as I did. She apologized. That's my mummy. I see. Her usual personality is just like the Seven Sages members said. Let's dive into the main topic. You're Ray, right? Are you a CPU? Oh, you figured it out, huh? I'm sorry about that. You're so silly. Apologizing doesn't help us understand. Be clear when you explain it. Okay, well, I was a CPU. Uh, yes, I, I used to be one. You're a CPU to too, mummy? You're the same as me. Go into more detail, please. It's cool if this turns into a really, really, really long scene. Um, okay, please bear with me. I'll go ahead and tell my story. It started a long, long time ago. Thousands, maybe tens of thousands of years before you were all born. Oops, I wasn't serious, but this does sound like a really long story. Someone boil some caffeine leaves. Indeed, a good cup of tea could do us very nicely. I'll put on some tea. Oh, thank you, Compa. Perhaps you could prepare some cakes to eat with your tea, too. Ugh, what the hell is that? Back then, the concept of having a nation didn't exist on this continent. 
What's that, what's that gotta do? What's going on there? Just to cut an eye, Joe Pickin' minute! So what? What is it? Why in the name of artistry was that thing I saw for a split second just now? Perhaps a glitch of some sort? Um, well, to help you understand how things were back then, I thought to visually represent the situation. As in, a drawing? You call that a drawing? It's a picture by definition, isn't it? I mean, look. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I can sort of see her nation in the top right. I think. That's an, I don't know. You can tell us to look, but it's very, um, avant-garde. Wow, I have no idea what this is. Haha, <laughs> mommy, you draw funny. Quite the master artist. Oh, you don't have to tease me that much. I thought it would be helpful, so I drew several. It's not nice to tease my patient. That's not quite what we're doing. It's a totally legitimate reaction. There's too strong of an impact to avoid commenting on it. Anyway, she will be unable to continue if you all blather their own. Please continue. It's alright for me to go on. Go on using drawings to help explain, I mean. Um, I guess that's okay. If we know in advance that we're gonna see weird art, we should be able to withhold our goofy comments, okay? Okay. I don't want you to be the one telling me that. Okay, I'll start over again. Ahem. Back then, the concept of having nations didn't exist. There it is again, art murder. <laughs> this is kind of hilarious. You just tell us not to make any more comments, but, um, well, it's true. Don't look directly at it. If you do, it becomes hard not to, to laugh. And CPUs were thought to be stuff of legends and myth. The human heart had grown dark. War was endless. It was chaos. Even so, I lived a life of apathy. I don't even remember why I chose to become a CPU. It may have happened by chance. I realized one day that I was a CPU. As a CPU, having gained in human strength, I listened to what the people wanted. I founded a nation. I called my nation Tari. Tari, you say? Have you been there, Blonde? No, I've read about it in some old documents. It was said to be a nation ruled with despotism and tyranny. That was Tari. I figured it was only a legend, but to hear it really existed. Records may exist in my database too. A search would take about three days, so I will refrain for now. Uh, so it got passed down as a legend? How embarrassing. Regardless, choosing to become a CPU after you turn 30 takes a lot of determination. She had to become one by accident. I can understand that. But it, it, well, I wasn't past 30. I mean, I was close, but still. Anyway, I'm going to continue. What the hell is this? What the goodness, another picture? I did not expect to gaze upon yet another work by this master artist so soon. <laughs> it's so funny. Amazing. I can never draw something this bad. Everyone, are you going to ignore her again so that you can poke fun at her drawing? These are my newfound powers as a CPU. I spread my nation's influence across the entire continent. I first thought it was my destiny, and that I must lead my people down the correct path. I think I did. Um, as you're probably aware by now, this is how I normally act. But when I gain power, you could say that my personality does a 180. It's true, you were very different. Yep, it was a massively massive chasm of difference. As wide as Pluti when she transforms. Well, this mm, Pluti is not that different anymore in her normal form. This woman turned into someone like Lady Plutia. Huh? Neppy, you change way more than I do. The important difference is that this woman can change personalities even when she hasn't activated HDD. That wasn't mummy. Oh, I have no comeback. Don't get depressed, continue. Right, so since I was like that, the people eventually rose up against me in a rebellion, and battle ensued. And I was the way I was, so... Dare to turn against me? <laughs> Impertinence! Cretans of no value, learn your place! 
That's how I got carried away. Seeing how insane you can get, it's easy to imagine. So did you really beat up your peeps? I did. It was after that when I realized that a CPU's power comes from the faith of her people. Nobody would believe in a CPU who would do the things you did. Precisely. So it ended up like this. Duh! Was that like a, a, a whale? Or, or something? I, 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 don't, I don't know what it is. I can't suspend my disbelief. Another one? I can't do it. I can't take this scribbly nonsense. Me neither. It's so funny. Nep, nep, plu, plu, don't laugh. Please ignore them and continue. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. They can laugh if they want. Anyway, I lost my powers and my nation collapsed soon after. People's hearts became even darker than before and the situation grew even more chaotic because of me. The great crash, right? My old documents mentioned a huge recession in game industry. For the longest time after that, I lost most of my CPU's powers. CPU's? CPU. Singular. I could never die nor age. I just sat and thought for a long, long time about what I did wrong. So, um, I know it's just me shifting the blame, but I felt the idea of CPUs in general was wrong. That it was wrong to allow a CPU to found and rule a nation. That it creates such unhappy people. That's why I enlisted the help of the Seven Sages, and then we engaged in those activities. Shifting the blame, indeed. I agree. You were just incompetent. Yes, it's just as you say. You made a group like the Seven Sages based on your prejudices? And then ended up working with evil people. I'm so sorry. The cherry on top of this vile pie is that you turned Pico into a CPU. How backwards. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, stop bullying mommy. We now understand the gist of things. There's no way to verify her story. Not like it even matters. We've crushed the Seven Sages. There is one thing I do not understand. Huh? What is it? According to your story, you lost your CPU powers. How is it then that you found it power great enough to surpass all of us? Oh, um, I was about to... Ah, that's right. That's very right. We can't relax like this. Nothing's been resolved. Nothing's been answered at all. Yeesh, why the sudden crazy talk? Please calm down and attempt to explain it to us. I can't calm down and I don't have the time to explain. What should I do? What should I do? <laughs> That's my mummy. Oh, so Ray is always like this? Yep, and she stops if you do this. Hey, yeah. Chop. Ouch, my head. Ow. She stopped. Mummy, calm down. You shouldn't hit your mummy on her head, P. She might turn into a big dummy. Huh? Really? He has calmed down a bit, so what could possibly such be such a major emergency? Uh, I'm I'm sorry that I lost my composure. Um, to explain that, I'll need to go over things step by step. We have three lines in the box. What? How long is three lines? That, that's nowhere near enough space. Don't be unreasonable. It doesn't matter if it's long. Just explain it properly. Uh, okay, so you already know about this, right? I'm referring to the other dimension, the one that's similar to our own. The one my sister and I are from? Right, theoretically, there are an infinite number of dimensions, so it may be a coincidence, but in your dimension, um, there's another me. There sure is. She was handing out pamphlets asking for proper regulations and other stuff. Before I came over, I think that things had gotten a bit worse. Honestly, it wouldn't be wrong to say that this is my fault as well. Of course, I had no ill will, so you could call it bad luck or some kind of accident. No need for the preface. S sorry. Anyway, in the other dimension, I was born as a regular human. But because well, you were here as well, weren't you? So... Right. But because she is me, as it were, she's hesitant and timid, and could not achieve anything. But she still did her best to change society. Even with no power, she gave it her all. When I learned she existed, I asked for my last remaining bit of power to be transferred over to her. Gave okay, power to the ray in our dimension. So the reason behind Neptune being sent over here is 
Yes, that would probably be the me over there. Although you could say I'm the original cause. I knew it! Man, I've had to go through a bunch of trouble thanks to you! S sorry, I, I know it's late, but still, I I'm sorry. Um, okay, thank you for the story, Ray. Huh? Y you're welcome? Don't thank her. Were you even listening to her story? Um, yeah. Thanks to Ray, Neppy and I were able to meet, right? That's one way to look at it. Thanks to Mummy. It's all thanks to Mummy. Huh? When you put it that way, I was able to meet all of you chickadees because of her too. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna stop grumbling about my getting sent here or, or there. Thank you very much. Let us return to your story. We still are unaware how you obtained such formidable powers. I'm actually, I, I don't quite understand that part very well myself. Over here, when I, we kept losing, I had heard that the other me would get stronger every time. Wow, level up! That logic is funny, isn't it? There must be a balance of power existing between the two dimensions. Merely my hypothesis. No point in debating it. We need to fill in the blanks with objective facts right now. I concur. In that case, I have two blanks for her to fill in. Uh, d did I say something strange again? First question. How did you come to know about your existence in another dimension? Um, that's... how can I say this? My power carries an intrinsic characteristic allowing me to distort, maybe pierce, other dimensions. Oh, I messed up. I failed to tell you about... Darksty. Darksty? That name sounds similar to yours, Histoire. Yes, I wonder why. I feel as though I have heard it before. It's just my guess, but I think that Darksty is to me like how Histoire is to Plutia. Anyway, she's been with me ever since I became a CPU. Oh, did I interrupt you talking smack about me? Who's there? An intruder? Yo, nice to meet you and all that. Even though I already know a lot about you. Hmm, you are... On two Histoires. They're very similar, is this? Yes, I was just trying to explain about her. Um, since she's a dark looking histy, can we call her Dark Stay? That's what I've been doing, Plutia. No, no, an evil histy should be called something like Bad Stay, if we have the choice. Hey, don't make up nicknames for people without their go ahead. My name's Dark Stay. Dark Stay. Dark Stay. Who exactly are you? Who knows? I imagine I'm something similar to you. You were made to record the history and as spun by the CPUs or something grand sounding crap like that, right? Y yes, you as well. My existence has the condition of going around, messing up, and having fun with others' history. What? It is an inexcusable act for us to intervene directly in the advancement of history. Us? Who do you think you're including in that statement? That, that would be, um, oh dear. <laughs> Sucks for you that you can barely sense your other selves in the different dimensions. Do you have the same issue? Well, unlike you, I can't connect the dimension themselves together. I can travel between them, though. I see. My second question was in regards to who transferred Ray's power, but that answer is now clear. Nobody else finds it odd that she floated on in here at the perfect time to advance the conversation? Well, no, it's the Neptunia series, so... What did you come here for? You're not going to give me any unnecessary power again, are you? I don't need it. This time, I'm putting my foot down and refusing it. Nah, we've known each other for a while now, so I wanted to give you a heads up. Not like you can do anything, even if I tell you. Huh? What are you telling me? The other you said she's going to destroy the entire dimension. That would include you. What? Wait, don't just casually tell us something insane like that. How could she possibly destroy an entire dimension? You'll figure it out soon enough. I'll be... Star it'll be starting any minute now. Oh, oh my. Yeah! Wow! Heck! Sweet! It's even crazier than I expected! What just happened? Lightning? Earthquake? A fire? Perhaps a daughter's angry dad? Definitely not the last two. No more stupid comments. We need to go outside and investigate this matter. Neptune series. Orbital series. 
Double Round Series Lyra Mach 3 Series PCF00X Series Now loading, come on then, come on. Alright then. What is that? The sky's all dark, darky dark. Is that a beam of dark light coming down from the sky? Not from the sky, another dimension! <laughs> she really is gonna blow it all up without discrimination. This is my power, no way, it's gotten so out of hand that she can do this? That's how it is, I bet things are getting really interesting over there too, so... Laters! Good luck and all that! Wait a moment, I wish to ask you more questions! Whoa, she disappeared. You're kidding me, that joke plans to leave us in this situation? We gotta figure out what to do about the sky and whatnot. How do we stop it? If this continues, will this entire dimension really be destroyed? Thinking about it helps nothing. We need to gather information and get our people to safety. But where can they go? If the dimension's being destroyed, where can they go? I yes, of course. Let us all return to our respective nations. We'll meet up right here later. Act like this is a speedrun and do it quickly. I don't need to be motivated by you. I'm going to head out first. One thing after another. Goodness, we've hardly the time to catch our breath. I'll return the favor several hundred times over to our enemy. Okay, we gotta break character and not slack off at all. Come on, Plutie. Where are we coming to? C come on in to, come on in to. Where? Well, obviously, uh... Where do we go? D don't look at me! Good grief, you two should lead the citizens of Planet Tune to a safe place. But where is safe? The dimension is being destroyed. There is nowhere safe to go. Nepke, you and Pishi can start clearing the debris and such. I'll gather information, got it? Okay, understood. Leave it to be! Wow, Ify, you are so cool. Kampa, there are tasks for us to handle as well. Come along. Uh, this is all my fault. It's my fault this is happening. Noir is left. Blonde. Vert. All left. Right, so clearly the dimension is being destroyed. Look at this nice, green, pleasant day. Let's go look at some events around the place, though. Oh, there's an event over here. Oh, it's still that one. There's still the graphic pass. Yeah, because I reloaded the saved and I said, we'll ignore that. That's not one we need to worry about. Information chirpers, of course. Debug. Hey, hey, hey. With a face like this, how about some sympathy? I'm so pretty. Yeah. All right. Whiteheart magazine. Aha, Lady Whiteheart. We'll, we will back you up forever. Kenji Ito. All shall become wireless. All right, Nobu Uematsu. I like Nobu. I wait every night, looking into the sky. I'm waiting for people to come from a faraway star. But they just don't come. I won't be discouraged. I'll wait today, too. I'm Uematsu, after all. Indeed. Nario makes his game industry debut. Yay, yay, I'm happy. Even though I said such a childish thing. I'm an old man. Ahem. Anyway, this has been pleasant and professional. Has it? Alright. Ooh, I like, I like the chirper. For that. Very nice. Hey, it's me, the bassist. Rota. I can also play the big six-string bass. Hearing those bass notes live feels awesome. Listening to game music live is awesome. It is. It is. I have done that myself. It's very pleasant. Final Fantasy. Distant Worlds. Down in London. Abbot Hall. Very nice. Come to one of our concerts. Harata Hanuda. For both noodling and noodle, simplicity breeds genius. I'm your old friend, Hanuda. Please call me Honey. 
I lose weight when I'm in a concert, so I've lost weight. I recommend the drum diet. Oh, I might try that, I might try that. Hey, I'm Michi, the guitarist. The earth, the sea. All things alive on the earth. Please give me a little of your attention. If you do, I won't throw bottles at you anymore. Uh, oh, all right, 4K McGurl? Why is he throwing bottles around? The sky is all jacked up. I hope the world doesn't end or anything. Well, about that. It's, it's, uh, it's gonna. Just thought I'd warn you. Okay, so let's see Neptune. Oh, thanks to a hardcore attack, the whole town is in ruins. Ah, uh, you should have stuck to just drawing really ugly things. Bit harsh, but she's right. Goodness, this is terrible. This isn't the time to panic. We need to hurry. Lydia. So much is happening. I don't get it at all. Teasing people like this isn't very nice. Nope. Ah, uh, what's going on? If my nation is in danger. The one responsible is gonna be sorry. Alan. In this way. The old country, Tari, also met its demise. But Louis won't be destroyed because I will protect it. Good for you, Vert! This attack from another dimension is no joke. I refuse to accept such cheap tactics. Is she? Mummy is doing that? What's wrong with her? It's a good question, it's a good question. Player two! Huh? You say that I slip and fall often? Are you sure that isn't someone else? Could be, could be Mario! Recently, I've been working too much and it's rough. I want to go to a resort on an island to the south. Oh, do that then, Mr. Akai. Got it, got it, got it. I got pocketed monstrosities! There are times when I, even I want to sing. Hmm, alright then. Can you identify this riddle of an unnatural phenomena? If the CPU is working it, I'm sure we can find out the reason. But that won't solve the fundamental problem. We've got to destroy the brute if you want to fix things forever. Indeed, indeed. Make a hand! This is becoming something terrible. But even in this situation, I mustn't lose my cool. Louise Citizen! Lady Blonde beat Yellowheart. And then Yellowheart became her ally. In a way, that's even more sad for Lady Blonde. Why? What? It looks like things are getting bad out there. But it's very peaceful here in the Kadatsu. I won't leave it. Take it with you. Just just scoot around in one. Everyone, please calm down and evacuate. Don't push, run, or talk. Why, why can't you talk? Alright. <laughs> uh, what's going to happen to the world? I, I don't know with that laugh. Uh, I mean, alright. What's going on? I need to hurry up and find the cause. We already know the cause, don't worry. Madame Poopa. Who try and destroy the world due to jealousy. Ray Wright is scary and really annoying. Ninkun. So, do you think you can turn a human into a console, too? People who only care about graphics or presentation may have trouble understanding this kind of concept. Indeed. Indeed. Right, so let's head off to La Station. What we got here? Dengekiku! Two game industries and two Lady Noirs. I need to release a special edition. Shake. Shake hater? Snake hater. I tried to stand against the threat facing the world, but I had been squatting for so long that I hurt my back standing up. Ouch! Full metal chef. When I save enough money, I will open my own shop. I just need 20,000 more credits. 20,000, 20 million. You don't think I'll need that much? Get out of town. I have debts. And I'm currently unemployed. We know, you told us before. Hi! Ha ha ha! Actually, no one really laughs like that. It's true. Well, Ray does. I'm full. Well, Alright. Nya nya! There are other cats besides cat? Really? I want to meet them. I know, you, you, you told us that before. It's always the same again and again and again here. 
you're being forced into it. And to watch you ass, you can tell just by looking. The fact that you're being forced into it. You're being forced into it. Alright. I need to bust out some ads today too. I love advertising. Well, time to go and do some work. To think that that station would suffer from a bombardment like this. But Lady Blackheart will do something about this, right? I don't know, Mr. Gwachi. I haven't bathed in a week. I want to sleep in a real bed. Guess hobbies and work are different after all. Shall I return to the restaurant I was at? So I said while continuing to check the enemy's HP. It's work, so I get yelled at. Yeah, maybe you should do some proper work. Dear oh dear, lean box. And we got here in lean box information, ten buyer. We got Kepi again. Kepi knows. I put the limited editions I got up for sale on the internet. There was hardly any demand, and I lost a lot of money. Well, that's what you get. Stupid scalpers. I'm into this cell phone game where you take care of idols. I got really into it last month and spent 120,000 credits on it. Regrets? None. I don't look back. I mean, I'm young after all. You don't look it. The silicon staff. Our country is surrounded by water. There is nowhere to run. All we can do is rely on Lady Vert. You can swim. As you can see, we're in the, we're right in the middle of a big incident. Go home before you get hurt. Now oh, it's liquor. Honestly, I don't want to lick first. She's better to admire from afar, without touching her. Did a hiccup then. Keppy, Keppy knows. SCPUs will get us out of this pinch. Oh well, there we go, we're all sorted because Keppy told us. What's going on? A new enemy, but you can't see their form? Is this a new series from, from Magical Girl Nekako? It isn't. Is it? No. Dear girl! Huh? You're asking if I have a friend named Chidi? Ah, the one who wears spandex all over his body. He told me that his role has come to an end. Oh, oh well, there you go. Something terrible is happening. I should be more careful. I... T tomorrow. It was an exclamation, not an I. Tomorrow, I'll really start looking for work. There might not be a tomorrow. Nip 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 Alright, let's see what we got here. Seems everyone's here now. What's the situation for you all? I wish to say that things have calmed down somewhat. However, the attacks are indiscriminate, coming at random times and striking random places. We can't do much. So much of the city is broken, like someone stomped all over it. Pishi, that isn't something to say so happily. All the citizens were so scared. Neppy and I thought we, we could cheer them up with a comedy routine, but nobody laughed at any jokes. Perhaps this is because you two are not as funny as you think you are. No, the jokes were as solid as a hard rock. Blutia just has a real slow tempo, so her timing was off. Sorry, I guess I'm not cut out for comedy after all. What kind of evaluation meeting are you two having right now? Uh, um, maybe there's nothing else to do but go and stop the other me? You say that like it has nothing to do with you. Whose fault do you think are having? Whose fault do you think are having to go through this is? Whose fault do you think are having to go through this is? No, I did read that right. S sorry, Ify. There's no reason for you to be a mean girl right now. I have attempted to contact the other me several times, but I'm unable to reach her. My hasty was has way better processing speed, but she kind of messes up at the most important plot points. 
I bet she's buried under a bookshelf right about now. That's not... Uh, um, actually, it's quite plausible. My history's kind of like that, too. What? Is that how you see me? Pluta ba 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 well, I'll be. It's been a long while since we've been privy to Mini Histi's vibration function. Please do, 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 do not say such strange things. Um, yes, hello? I apologize for missing all of your calls. It seems I was able to connect at long last. Speak of the devil? It's the big Histi, long time no see. You're really late, you know. Jeez, what were you doing at such an important time? Well, you see, I suddenly got trapped under a falling bookshelf and dislodged myself a moment ago. Histoire. It's pretty bad when even Neb can guess your predicament. Hush, how are things over there? It's pretty awful over here, thanks to this meek individual. I'm sorry, I've caused everyone nothing but trouble. Planetune City is in ruins. The CPUs are putting up a putting a plan in motion, but we cannot reach the city center. No way. And you not do anything? If you can stop the attacks over there, it will solve our problem as well. Presently, only one option exists. Neptune, Nepke, can you both please return home? Just us two? Ah, uh, yeah, makes sense. Can't win without the protagonist, right? Jeez, unreliable second stringers. We'll take any helping hands we can get, even if those hands belong to a cat. Uh, why would you use a cat? Aha, uh -huh, look it, I have cat hands. Hmm, that you do, Pishy. Your cute little gloves are certainly cat paws. Not a cat, they're supposed to be tiger paws. When you ask us like that, it doesn't really light the fire under my bum to make me want to go home at all. This is not the situation to make such comments. Um, I don't mind us going home, but what about the pillar of light? Can you create another one for us? In truth, I am not certain. Planted you shares have hit rock bottom over here. The situation over here isn't much better. We're still struggling to regain the shares that we lost to Pishi and Eden a while back. There is no time to waste. Please contact me once you are ready. So, so sorry. That's my fault, too. We have no choice but to proceed. We need all the firepower we can get, no matter how small. Oh, she hung up. She sounded like she was in quite a rush. What are we gonna do, Neppy? Hmm, I think we should stop wasting time and get serious for a minute. Noir has been added! Blon and Vert. Indeed, it is time to get serious. Indeed, you think a bit, new. Let's get serious. Let's do Nep Station. Wallet Crusher Nep back in business. With our exhilarating lineup, you'll be on the road to bankruptcy in no time flat. Our featured item for today is this. Ta-da! Nepkidum! What by a Nepkidum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It crushes foes underfoot, and it's exceptional in every way. Let me introduce our guest for today who has had the chance to try this robot out. It's Bloody! Hehe, <laughs> hello. Let's dive right in, Bloody. Tell everyone your experience. It was stronger than I thought. I I turned so many enemies into string pools of blood right away. Wow, pretty hardcore image to paint for us with that darling smile. Uh, but doesn't that just mean you're strong, Pluty? Was it hard to handle or anything? If I was able to use it, then it's super user friendly. And 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 it was really fun. Fun? Dare I ask? Well, when it attacks, it has voice feedback, so it says stuff like, You're already dead, and I got him by the chestnuts. It prevents you from overkilling the enemy, so now anyone can easily commit monster genocide. You really shouldn't smile when you say that. I have no comment. B but yeah, that, that's what happens when you need to deal a killing blow. Sometimes you keep the combo going. If it has some kind of feedback to keep your wild attack in check, that mistake is thing of the past. And it's so cute. It looks like Nippy Jr. Right, that might have more of an impact than its actual functions. I use one for personal things, but um, is it expensive? 
Not at all, my dear friend. We're offering it today at a very special price. Wow, that's so cheap. Even I can afford it. Turn dangerous baddies and other annoying jerkwads into mincemeat with the Nepgadam. Oh, Neppy, that was a pretty extreme thing to say. Not like I need to hear that from your smiling jaws, but buy it, folks. Um, even if everybody, everybody buys one, I'm the only one who can equip it. Ludi, don't say things like that. We'll crush that wallet! Thanks for your patronage. Nepgadam received. Alright, Nep Station again. Ba ba bum, ba ba bum, bum. Hey everyone, have you been good boys and girls? Still got a high credit score? The most awesomest shopping show ever. What a Christian Nep is about to begin. With our exhilarating lineup, you'll be on the road to bankruptcy in no time flat. Wait, wasn't. Didn't we just have what a Christian Nep? What? I'm the special guest today. Let's have a good show. Hi, sis. We will, definitely. Here's today's product. It's a high-level restorative item among restorative items. Behold, Netball EX2. It's a supercharged version of the original. With one dose, you'll go from near death to full health. This is a necessary item for those on the last leg of their adventure. It's so fast, instant even. Huh? What's wrong, Neptune? I've been thinking, but how does it let us heal instantaneously? How? Well, it's a healing item. It would spell big trouble if it didn't do that. But isn't it weird to sell a drug with such an immediate effect? Um, Neptune, please don't put quotes around that word. It makes it sound like the bad kind. But it heals you way too fast. This drug is a powerful drug. It's got to have some wicked side effects, right? Like it heals you but gives you the runs? Wacky. Neptune, that's not good. Our sponsors are going to get mad. But I mean, without knowing this, I've been downing these things like a bad habit. That's a real dri- Technical difficulties, please stand by. Uh-oh. Nep's gone. And with that, we are happy to present the side effect free and safe medicine, Nep Bull EX2. It is a must-have item that is totally okay to use regularly. It will heal you instantly. We're offering a bundle today. Please place your orders now. And with that said, we have a very sad announcement to make. This is the final episode of Wallet Crush and Nep. Thank you for your support up until now. We deeply apologize first to our sponsors and then to all those who we've troubled with our actions. And we will redouble our efforts so something like this doesn't happen in any future shows. So, goodbye for now. Crush that wallet. Goodness, you're broke. Oh. Alright. Nap station! Meow, 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 meow. Million Ep Quiz! It's the last episode of our long running quiz spectacular. Thank you for your for, for tuning in. For your tuning in, yeah. Three questions, as always, and if you've gotten them all right so far, you might win one million credits. Can you become a true millionaire? Let's find out. Yay! First, what's the name of the character who's always around Ray and resembles his toir? Darksty. Dingly doo. Second, what's the name of the nation that Ray ruled over as his CPU? Neo Zeo. Dingly doo. Last question. What food do I hate more than anything else? That's the vicious and evil eggplants. That I can't joke about. Because it's true. Dingly do. Mm, oh, I was going to say Mad Bull. Nep Bull EX2. We've got some more. Awesome. That's it. 27 questions done. Great work, everyone. For real. 27, huh? That's kind of a dumb number to stop at. I agree, but there were various circumstances at work here, so... It's time for the final tally. Did you answer them all correctly? Are you now a million ep? If you did, one million credits for you. Badam. Badam. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. Amazing. We have a millionaire. Wow. Congratulations. Here's one million credits to reward your quizzical achievement. One million credits received. Good work, but don't spend it all in one place. Ah, this is a good ending. We can stop on a high note thanks to this result. Uh-huh, it was all worth it. Thanks for hanging out with us until the end. Congrats again. Good job. Maybe we'll see you again on our next playthrough. This has been Million Ep Quiz. There we go. We've done it. All right, what we got in terms of events? Right, we'll view all these chirpers and then we'll end this part and then we'll go to Histoire and see what happens then. Probably return back to Hyperdimension. Leave getting the people of Planetary to safety to me. Oh, will do. Come, ba. This is nuts. I hope Nip Nip, GG, and Blue Blue all take care. Ms. Manual. The strongest equipment are all made via plans. Also, unless you use scouts to look for proper materials, there are some super rare items you'll miss out on. So keep playing Stella's Star Dungeon. Basilicon Staff. I'm doing my best to protect this nation too. I mean, if this place goes under, I won't get paid, son. Cameraman. Yeah, no matter what happens, never let go of the camera. True. Beep. Or is this a catastrophe? Unless we do some game industry, we'll... Oh dear. Oh, it would be Cuba. The economy is bad right now, so you mustn't waste money. You have to think about your future. Not signing a contract. Chicago. That was surprising. To think that an attack would come out of thin air. I don't really know what's going on. But I believe that with the CPUs around, it will be okay. Indeed. Right, that's us done for this part. Let me just make sure there's nothing going on somewhere else. The only other event is there, and we're not doing that one. We're not doing that one because we're heading for the good ending right now. Of course, we've already seen what the event is anyway. So, that's us done for this part. In the next part, we'll go off back to hyperdimension, finally. So, we'll see you then. Bye-bye for now.